Hello everyone. My name is Robbie Rabala and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in New Bern, North Carolina. I love inspiring you so you enjoy the paper crafting hobby and you have less frustration. I love showing you all the different ideas so that you can collect products that you love and that you will use. I don't buy anything that I don't love. I also hope my ideas encourage you to use your stash because sometimes we have similar items that we could use instead of having to have the latest and the greatest. And I'm guilty of that. I like the, the latest and the greatest, but I'm learning very quickly to go to my stash and get things. Vicki and I are continuing on our coloring ideas and sharing them with you. Today, I'm going to be doing some watercolor um, ideas. So if you're ready to get started and see some fun watercoloring ideas, join me in the studio and I'll show you how. For today's watercoloring idea, I pulled out all of the dies from the meadow dies and I cut them out of um, watercolor paper. So I'm gonna show you how to get started and to make some fun cards with watercoloring. So let's grab our supplies. To get started, you're gonna need some water, a water brush, and I use, oh, sorry about that. I use a clear block because I'm going to be using various reinkers. I do not use um, um, the ink pads because the reinkers give you a brighter color. Now, you're also going to need a paper towel. So I have one here. What you're going to do to start off with is I am using Mossy Meadow, and I'm gonna do this from the darkest to the lightest. So I have my Mossy Meadow here. Then I'm going to put down, um, let's see, Granny Apple Green. And I'm using a variety of colors because I didn't don't know what's gonna work. Then I'm gonna put down Lemon Lime Twist. So I'm pulling in some new colors because I had three inkers for them. And then finally, my soft sea foam. All right, so I'm gonna take my water brush and I'm gonna start with this one because this is the easiest one. And I'm just gonna add some water to it. And what I wanna do then is I'm gonna pick up some water and I'm just gonna dab it on, all right? Then I'm gonna clean my brush, all right? I'm gonna add some more water and I'm gonna go all the way down and I'm gonna add some of the granny apple green, all right? I'm not worried about the very tip, all right? Now, I'm gonna mix my colors, but in order to do that, this has to dry. So what I'll do is I'll move it aside let me use my little pokey tool so I don't get ink on my fingers. I'm gonna move this, move that out of the way, over here so it can sit and dry. This, this is a process over a day or so. All right, let me get rid of my color here. All right, I'm gonna go, oops, I forgot. I gotta add some water and I'm gonna randomly add it and that had the re-inker in it. So I'll just leave it at that. All right. And this is my, um, what was the next one? Granny Apple Green. That was Lemon Lime Twist. This is Granny Apple Green. And I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add some of that. I want some variations. I'm gonna come down here and add some water down here. The other thing is you kind of need to change your water periodically because this will be dark. And that's got plenty of 
water still on it. So I'm going to go back in and I'm going to just dab on the darker color. All right. And I need something in here. So, um, Um, and I just kind of play. I think I'm going to leave that because I like the white in there. So I'm going to move that one over here. And I have this last one. All right. And I'm going to do this one. And I'm going to do this one in the darker colors. I'm going to go in and pick up some Granny Apple Green and just kind of add it to my stem. Then I'm going to add some water and I'm going to pick up some of the, I think this is Mossy Meadow, and add some of that in. And I'll go back and add some of the dark in key spots. I kind of like that. So I'm going to leave it to dry. So I'm going to go back to this one because it's dry enough that I can go back in and add some water. And I'm just, I'm just playing. It just depends what I want. And I think I need some darker in spots. So I'm going to leave that one. So those three are done. So what I need to do is I need to clean all this up. I need to do the stems of my flowers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this here to dry. You've got to have lots of space. I forgot to tell you, you need a mat for underneath. Um, I like this really big mat. I've had it for years and it's great. All right, now I'm cleaning my um, mat off. And now I'm gonna clean my brush. Let me move that over so you can see it a little bit better. And I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna apply water only on the stems. And that's the key. I'm not gonna do the end, I'll hold it. Um, let's try this because the water will cause it to spread. You can spread it yourself, but All right, there. And I think I'm going to add in some dark in key spots. All right, I'm going to leave that. Now, I will tell you, if when this dries, you don't like it, you can go back and add more. Um, all right, let's do, um, oops, I forgot. I got to add some water. This one's going to be a challenge. Whew, too much on that. Because this one has flowers and leaves. So I'm going to do both. I'm going to go in with my lemon lime twist and I'm going to add some of that. And then I think I'm going to jump to my um, mossy meadow and I just pulled out whatever greens I felt would do good. All right, so then that piece is gonna go there to dry. Okay, I'm not worried about cleaning it in between because there hasn't been a lot of other things here. And as you can see, my water is dirty, but that's why I'm doing all the green. Let's do this one with soft sea foam. And I'm gonna kind of paint the whole thing on this one. All right. 
And then let's go in with some Granny Apple Green. I'm just kind of picking and choosing my colors and putting it down. All right, now I'm gonna stop there. Make sure my finger is dry. And I've got a lot here that I won't, don't want on my next one. So I'll move it. And now we'll do the last one. And then this all has to dry and I can do my flowers. I think I'll do this one with Granny Apple Green. Um, all right, and then I'm going to pull in some mossy meadow. And it's not very dark, so I'm going to add it again. Okay, there it is. Let me get this cleaned up. And what I'm gonna take and do is I'm gonna pull all of these down so you can see all of them. I don't know how much you can see up there. And this is pretty wet. Now I'm not worried about the tips because I can cut those off. So let me kind of move these around. And those have to dry. So once they've dried, I will come back and finish them. As you can see, my stems are all dry. I'm happy with the colors. So these, I don't have to do anything else to. They're my greenery and I'm gonna leave them as they are. These are the ones that I'm going to color. This one, I'm gonna do in purples. Now I have my block. I have my water and I have my reinkers. And for this one, I'm going to use bubble bath and fresh freesia. So I'm going to put a drop of bubble bath here. If you're going to um, do this, either go lightest to darkest or dark to light. Uh, dark to light. This is fresh freesia. That way you know which is which. When I did the other one, I put the darker one. I find it easier to go light to dark. All right, now I'm going to start and I'm going to add some water to my blooms here. And you have to be careful because you can reactivate the green. All right, so I'm then going to Get some of the bubble bath and I'm just going to drop it on there. I can go back and add more. All right, and then I'm going to go in with my fresh freesia. Ooh. And I'm going to add some pieces there so that it mixes in. And I'm happy with that. So I'm going to leave it. I'm going to flip my block around and I'm going to move this out of the way clean this off um, now I'm going to use um, petal pink and calypso coral um, this is a color combo that I have just recently discovered that I really like alright so I'm going to all right, and my bottle has leaked, but it's fine. All right, I'm going to do this one. Um, so I'm going to add some water. And if you get too much on your brush, just take and dab it on your paper towel. All right, I'm going to start with the um, petal pink. All right, and then I'm going to go into my fresh freesia. Almost went not fresh. I almost went into fresh freesia. I want the 
Calypso Coral. And I'm just gonna dab that in the center and hit the tips of that. And I think I'll go back and hit the tips of this. So you can play with it and do it the way you want. All right, I'm happy with that one. Now, I have one more to do and I have a little bit of space over here. So I'm going to, I have two more to do, but I'm gonna do this one and then I'm gonna go back to that one I'm gonna do in my bubble bath and fresh freesia. This one I'm gonna do with real red and daffodil. So as you see, you don't take, it doesn't take a lot of ink. All right, for this one, I'm going to, I'm not gonna do the center of this. I'm going to um, do, I'm gonna do the tips of this first. And then I'm gonna clean it and I'm gonna come back and do my red here. Now this is going to be really vibrant. Um, that's why I like the re-inkers. All right, I'm gonna come in just a little bit. There, I'm gonna leave it at that. All right, set that aside. I'm going to flip this around and I'm gonna come back to this one. And I'm gonna do the bottom piece first. And I'm gonna do that in the fresh freesia. All right, clean my brush. I'm gonna add some water to the top. When I have a skinny stem, you kinda of have to hold it. All right, and I'm going to add some of the bubble bath to that. And then I'm gonna go back in with the fresh freesia and get my tips. And you really can't tell what it's gonna look like till it's dry. All right, now I'm gonna move that over there so it can dry. I'm gonna clean this up. I'm gonna clean my um, I'm going to go in and I have to be very careful. Now I'm going to come in with my daffodil and drop my daffodil in there. You want to make sure this is as dry as possible. That was pretty dry. And then I'm going to clean this. And that is fairly dry. I'm going to take my real red and add that in. So now let me get this cleaned up. And I'm going to pull all my pieces down so you can see my flowers. I'm going to clean off my mat. And there are my flowers that need to dry. And then I can put my card together. I hope you learned some new things with coloring, water coloring, your die cuts to make great cards. Um, it just takes re-inker. You can use, like I said, your stamp pad, but the re-inker is much more vibrant and looks so much nicer. So make sure you check out my card because you're not going to want to miss what it looks like. The link to my blog post with the card is below. Make sure you check out Vicki's post or Vicki's video to see what she did for coloring this week. Have a great week, guys. Bye.